Good morning. Hello. Uh, we're here. Um, we're at a local estate place. Yeah, yeah. Um, to see some deer. We the, are. The uh, conditions are brilliant. We've got some morning mist and the sun is rising and we're on the drag and we'll keep you tuned. <laughs> the conditions are brilliant. Richard's set up. Beautiful this morning. All we've got to do is walk and find the deer. What do you think of the conditions? Perfect. Cold. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Magical. You just gotta find some deer. Well that'd be nice. I keep banging on about the conditions, but it's perfect. There's Rich. The sun. It's starting to come up from over here. About 20 minutes before sunrise it still is. It was an early start today. Five o'clocker. There's some deer. Just over there. Magical. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna find some more. It's surprising that um, normally in wildlife photography you don't have enough lens. You're always constantly moaning about the fact you haven't got enough lens, but I'm only shooting with my five, two to 500 on a full frame camera. So it's a proper 500 mil. And I'm not even using all of that today because as Gemma, we were talking about this earlier. The scene is so pretty with the fog in the early morning light that you want to include more of the environment so zooming in as close as you can as hard as you can for the tight in shots just aren't just not what you want to be doing on a morning light today no you want to get the frost the trees so i think i've been shooting at about 300 mil maybe i'll check when i get back but certainly not zooming all the way in which is what's quite good about my lens is i've got a variable aperture which means when i get down to 300 i'm at f5 so it's a little bit better rather yeah, than you, sticking yeah. at 6.3 but you can't beat having a fixed aperture zoom lens <laughs> there is some gorgeous light today and we have heard there we go hopefully that picked it up we have heard some bellows and I may have got an image of some bellow. Look at the sun bursting through the trees. One side you've got bright, bright sun. And then as you come across, you've got all the mist. It has been the day of the most beautiful light. Um really have had some stunning conditions the only problem is it only tends to last for 20 minutes and then it's gone every photo seems just brilliant <laughs> i don't know if it's just me being enthusiastic or not in the herd over there i zoomed in quite Quite a lot in the herd, right over there. There's a bellow. Oh, he's who we're trying to find. The blowing stag in the mist is what we want.
So I'm not 100 for sure, 100% sure where Gemma is at the moment. Um, we can still hear some more bellowing, but it's trying to locate them is the issue when you're in such a vast area. You've got such a last, vast area to cover. Um, I'm going to try and get in contact with Gemma now. See how I can find her. She wandered off. Hopefully she's got some nice images. I'm sure she has. And uh, when I hook back up with her, we'll, um, we'll put our heads together, see what we got. And make the journey home. So, left um, Aussie in the car. Don't know why. So the whole vlog is on both um, mine and Rich's phones. We're so disorganised. My battery's dead. Gone mad. I'm mad taking shots. Um, I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Look at that. If you can see the conditions that I'm in. I don't know. I don't know. It's just amazing. But um, I've phoned Rich because I've lost him. Um, maybe he's got a battery on him, I don't know. And if he hasn't, the light's so high now, it's, it's pretty much game over. But it's, it's been great. I hope you like the video footage, the vlog, and um, the shots. I'll say it one more time, it's been amazing. That has been a great day. Yep, the conditions have been absolutely brilliant. They have. Um, we found the deer. I possibly got a ballet shot. Possibly, I'm not yeah. too sure. We got some lovely um, silhouette earlier on when oh, the light yeah. was just coming up. Some really, almost not abstract, but more environmental wildlife shots. Gemma always laughs when I say that. She always say environmental wildlife shots means you, you couldn't haven't get anywhere near couldn't them. get close enough. But I disagree. I think they're probably this, going to be the best pictures of the on day. On this occasion. Yeah. Um, smaller lenses. We had the plenty. gorgeous light coming through, silhouetted with the fog behind trees, mm. bit of golden light. It's what more could you want? It's going to be hard to actually only choose a few. That of is. Those. That is. Yeah. What we're going to have three yeah. each. Mm. Really, I think we might need more. I think. Mm. I think it'll be like. 20 minutes of photo. My arm is starting to ache now. Oh, right. this is, I'm um, doing yeah, this on I explained earlier we've forgotten mm, our equipment and, and Oops, my battery's gone. And go. um, it's time to go home. Yep. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. We'll put the video up and the pictures up so as we normally subscribe. do. Please like Please like and subscribe um, the video. Please like and subscribe. I had to wipe my nose then because it's yeah. running. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> and a, a bellowed finish. See you later. Bye.